Welcome. Today's weather is so beautiful that I'm sitting on my deck, and I hope you enjoy seeing a view of my backyard behind me. I'd like to continue my discussion of Evernote and offer a few tips for advanced searching within your Evernote database. I'm displaying a note in Evernote that includes nine tips for advanced searching. I will copy the text of this note into the description below this video so that you have easy access to it. On a Mac, the Command F function, or on a Windows computer, Control F, searches for text within the currently viewed note. So, if I were to press Command F here on my Mac, type the word include, each instance of the word include in this note is identified. I can then uh, close this search by clicking the X next to the search box. If you're like me, you may find yourself preferring to open the note that you're editing in a large window, which now blocks my access to the home screen of Evernote, so I don't see the search box that allows me to search the entire database. On a Mac, the keystroke Option Command F, or on a Windows computer, the keystroke Control Q allows quick access to the full database search function. And now you can see I'm ready to type anything into here. And if I were to press enter, all the notes that are found by the keyword insurance would display. Similar to the Option Command F or Control Q on a Windows computer search functionality, it's possible to access the Evernote search function even when Evernote is not the foreground application. On a Mac computer, that is Control Command E. On a Windows computer, Control F. And this is useful when Evernote is running in the background and you're typing or working in another application. It's possible to search the Evernote database without first mousing over to the Evernote application and the home screen and finding the search uh, dialog box. The power of any is really kind of cool. Normally, searches are made by entering the keywords or the key phrase that uh, one desires. But what if you really want any of the words that you type in, even if one or more of the other words were not present in the found records? For example, any colon, biology, chemistry, science, will find all the notes that have one or more of those words within the notes. Or the search any colon minutes notes finds any or finds all the notes that have the words minutes or notes or both in them. In my prior video, I addressed the use of tags as a means of categorizing notes within the database. It's possible to search for notes that include a tag or specifically do not include a tag to mark the search as not including a tag. Enter the search criterion. In this case, it's anything that includes the word notes. 
except those notes that have been tagged with the word minutes. Now, there's, there's a little bit of grammar to this. In the any function, there's a space after the colon. In the tag search, there's no space after the colon. And this grammar is, is important to the search function. So you have to remember that. Now, of course, if you wanted to search for all notes that included the word notes that were tagged as minutes, enter the same search criterion, just omitting the minus sign before the word tag. In addition to tagging, another means of categorizing information is, by, is through the use of notebooks. If you wish to search for notes that include particular word or words within a notebook, type the words for which you're searching and then add notebook colon and the name of the notebook. And again, watch the grammar. There's no space after the colon. So in the second example, this is a search for both words, health and report, within the notebook named admin. I've mentioned in prior videos that it's possible to put more than just typed text in Evernote notes. We can put digital files such as Adobe PDF documents or image, uh, JPEG images or audio recordings, or video files. If you wish to search for notes that only include a particular digital file attachment, you can do that with the resource criterion. So, for example, this resource colon image virgule jpeg will search for all records that include a JPEG photograph. Resource colon audio virgule asterisk will search for any files that include an audio file attachment. Probably more commonly used within uh, college is resource colon application slash PDF. This will limit the search to only those notes that include a PDF attachment. Now, if you're a Mac user, I got a special treat for you. This doesn't work on Windows computers, but it does work for on Macs. It's possible to search for information using human style language. For example, search for web clips that were saved last week. Web clips is using the Evernote web clipper tool that displays in our menu bar. Or search for notes that are notes from Germany or notes with PDFs. And this is kind of cool because this option replaces the need for this searching using the resource criterion. Don't forget, you can combine these search functions to create more precisely worded search criteria. In the description, I'll include a link to even more um, search controls that you might find very useful as you're trying, as your database grows and you're trying to find specific information quickly within your database. Now, I've got one last tip for you, and this is kind of brand new. It 
was just released to me today, and it's June 21st, 2022. So it's in just the most recent versions of Evernote. It's the ability to create a hyperlink very easily. Now, it's been possible for many years to insert hyperlinks into notes. We can have a hyperlink to another note, a hyperlink to a web page, a hyperlink to an Adobe PDF file stored on a, a FTP server somewhere. But this is a really cool trick for just inserting a internet hyperlink. All one has to do is copy the URL, the Uniform Resource Locator, of the web-based information. So it's anything that begins with HTTP, just copy all of that in your web browser. Then within an Evernote note, select some text and paste. What will be pasted onto the selected text is not the character wording of the URL, but a hyperlink to that web resource. So, for example, if I open up Firefox here and I copy that URL and I'm not going to select. Let me type something new. I'm going to type the word practice. I select the word practice and paste. Now there's a hyperlink to that web resource. And if I click on it, it opens in my Firefox browser. And I'll include a link to this advanced search syntax in the description below. I hope you found this explanation of a few of the advanced search functions in Evernote to be useful. Evernote really can be your lifeline to information management while you're in college. I use Evernote in my daily professional work as well as in my personal life. All of our uh, household documents have been digitized and they're stored in Evernote and shared between my account and my wife's account. We even share uh, some documents with our daughters who each have been using Evernote for many years. It really is a very useful tool and it has so many capabilities that it becomes particularly flexible as a data management tool. I wish you the best of success in all of your data searching within Evernote, and I hope to see you again in a future video. Bye for now.